Welcome back, bro. Are you one of these people? The people that want it, but they won't work for it. Be honest right now. Because I'm starting to think that I maybe have been one of those people. My question to you is, why did I not make it? I'm turning 20 in a month. I've sacrificed all of the friends that I've had or could have had. I've sacrificed all of parties and social conventions. I've sacrificed all of, of relations to family and everything. I've sacrificed everything around me for this purpose. The financial, physical, and mental strive that I'm working towards. It's because I didn't work hard enough. There is not a person out there that I can point about and say, you're the reason. And I, if there was a person that I could, because I think there's a lot of people I can point to and say, it's your fault. I will never give someone that power. I would never live in a mental mindset where, or a mental model that even if you stole $10 million from me, I would point at you and say, you took all my money. And you're the reason I failed. I would never let you have the power to see me fall. Because there's probably a three-digit number of people out there who wants to see me fall, who wants to see me fail. Who wants to see me... Who, who doesn't want to see me prevail. But I will prevail. I will. I will always come out on top. In time, I will always come out on top. The reason why I haven't made it, the reason why I haven't become the financial, the 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 the, the financial free or the financial successful person, the why, the reason why I haven't become a physical prowess yet is because I haven't worked hard enough. A lot of people tell me there is physically and scientifically impossible for you to actually have done it in just a couple of years to become that from being the guy who doesn't know anything and is just researching stuff and has never really gone to the gym and that that is just researching stuff and just reading and, and trying to understand what a stock is trying to understand what a financial market is to one one and a half to two years later starting businesses trying different stuff going to the gym, being this guy, like a lot of people don't even recognize me and says it is impossible for you to actually make it, to actually become that. Like you should have a bigger time frame. Yeah, I have a bigger time frame. I have a bigger time frame. I know this is for life. The gym business, it's all for life. You're doing this for the rest of your life. I didn't work hard enough. I didn't work on the right stuff. And it's all because of me. And I want to make this video to take full responsibility of my life situation. I just want to tell you, the reason why I am here today, the reason why I became what I became, the good that I have right now, the good that you see on the screen and the bad you see on the screen, is because of me and only me. And I would never let anyone in my life get to power to take that away from me. Because that is one of the things that I, that is one of the few things that I actually own for the rest of my life. And I have, I have the power to take accountability and responsibility. And that's a great thing. That, that feels good. Because no one can take that away from me. But the reason why I asked in the start, I said, are you one of these people? Because the amount of people I meet on a day-to-day -day basis that want it. I want this, I want that. Oh, I'm in the gym. I want to build muscle. I want bigger arms. I want arms like you. I want this. I want that. I want the body like I want this. I want that. I want, I want, I want, I want. Then I see you. I don't see you because I'm never there. But then I see you on, on, on the phone because I'm scrolling too much on a Saturday because I'm thinking oh, I can scroll a bit. It's it's nighttime and Saturday. And I see you on Snap Story being with a couple of your guys in the pub. Being in the sports bar watching the football game of a team that's not in your city. It's overseas. Then I see you on sushi date with your girlfriend. You know? Then I see you in Venice, Italy. On a shopping spree. You know? 
then I see you having a Netflix night when I've been recording videos and working on systemizing my company. And you're having a Netflix night with Bay or with yourself. Ice cream everywhere. You don't fucking want this, bro. Be honest, you don't want this. And if you're really watching this, you're like, mm -hmm. uh, and you're watching this, and you, you, you've been doing this. You, you've been doing this. You said, I, I deserve a break right now. It's, 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 you don't deserve a break, bro. We don't deserve a break. I don't deserve a break. But I don't want this enough. If I wanted this enough, I would have had it. You know, you can see this online. You can see, if I'm just going to name some names, like Luke Belmar, Sebastian Georgiou, Iman Gadzi, you know, all of these guys, Hamza, Jack, the CEO of Disaster, Chris Thurby from First Man. You can just w go, go to YouTube, watch. Go to YouTube and, w and search 20-year-old millionaire. And you will have all of these 20-something millionaires on YouTube that are being interviewed and you can talk about uh, uh, listen to them talk the way they're speaking the way they are they're not like us bro i'm turning 20 i'm not i'm not in some dubai estate with with boats and cars and everything in private chauffeurs i'm not so i need to step up because i haven't worked hard enough this video was made for that me taking full responsibility and, and full uh, accountability of my situation and just saying that these people want it, but they want to work for it. Because when I'm in a gym, I it's an insult, bro. It's an insult. Because when I'm in a gym, you tell me I'm lucky because I have uh, this and this. This in this body. I'm not saying I'm some big jack dude. I'm just saying I am. I am. I'm blessed in a way. Like I, I, I've, I've, I've made a body. It's, it's not finished at all. But the people that have a bear gut and 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 or are just skinny fat, of course they love the body. And then you have people tell me, oh, I wish I looked you like you. Life gotta be easier for you looking like that. And it's not my fault that you have acne. Because you drink every single day, you eat chips every single day, you're a fat slob. Of course, you have acne. Like your your body doesn't your body doesn't breathe. Like you, yeah, but it's just medical. Okay, it's a medical thing. Well, it would have been better if you wasn't fat, bro. Fucking hell. So it's it's just it's just you you want it, yes, but will you work for it? No. Then why are you walking around saying you want it? I'm saying I want all of these things and I'm working towards it. Am I working hard enough? No, because then I would have it. So I'm not working hard enough, but I'm working towards it. So I can, in a way, technically say I want it. Okay? So you will go to me and talk about body and gym and muscle. You will go to me and talk about looks. You will go to me and talk about money and mindset and how are you so smart and all that stuff. Because I suffered when you didn't. Because when you when you drove your car home, I was walking in the rain, okay, okay. When you were celebrating New Year's Eve with your family, I was in the gym lifting, okay. When you spend your vacation money on different uh, clothing and you spent it on different 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 experiences, I put all that money into courses and my and reinvesting into the business, okay. So just, just, just get that point across. Just, you want it, but you won't work for it. And if you're listening to this and you're like me, I'm just, I just want you to resonate with me. Get that hate towards them. Because on a day-to-day -day basis, they all try to put shame on you. You work too much. You are toxic. You are, are, uh, you feel like you're better than me. I feel like I'm better than you because I am. Because I am, bro. And I will come out on top. But understand that if you're watching this, if you're a brother of Invictus, I want you to understand. When you have, when you don't have money, when you don't have power and status and influence, and you're an affluent person, when you don't have physical prowess, when you don't have the looks and, and the life setup, your opinion doesn't matter. So you have to walk and, and try to work with this and then become the guy who has it and then they will listen to you. So that's the thing. You have to just live with them never listening to you and them never understanding you.
when you're working towards it, that can be five years, seven years, ten years of them looking down on you, the people around you. But then you make it and and they will all listen to you. They will all take you seriously. Then you will be the guy that are sitting on a one hour podcast, two hour podcast, and they're listening to your words. Your words have meaning in this life. Your words have meaning in this world. But until then, what can I say? Your meaning, your vision, your purpose, they have zero, zero influence on the world then. A lot of people will call it meaningless, everything you have. So you can't really just talk to these people and say, you want it, but you won't work for it. You can't really do that because these people won't take you seriously until you've actually made it in every sphere. <sighs> I take full accountability. I take full responsibility. And I, I know this winter I will go even harder in the gym. I will go even harder with business. And next summer I will be something I, I, I can't recognize. You know? And I want you to do the same too. I want you to go after it. That's why I'm posting these videos. That's why I'm giving you the mindset and ideology I have. Because it will be the mindset and ideology of a guy that made it. You have to just bite your lip while you're working after it and just understand that these people, they, they will always try to push it on you. They will always tell you that you are some bad person because you want this shit. Like it's your fault because you want this shit. It's you are a bad person because you want this shit. It's, it's your fault. You are a, a terrible human being for wanting to be better, to be more in life. And, and, and. They will always tell you, oh, I wish I had your body. I wish I had your money. I wish I had your lifestyle, your ideology, your mindset, your drive, your, your discipline. Well, you say that, but then you choose to do something else every single time. You choose to be a fucking loser. You're effectively a fucking retard. And that's the truth. And you're choosing that. So if you're watching this video and you know that you are that type of person, stop being that then I would advise you to check in on my videos every single day and read the, the read the title and understand, is this something that's going to make me a more productive, more sacrificing, more disciplined young man? Or is it just a video that has nothing to do with that? And if it does, it's, it has something with you being a more uh, sacrificing, disciplined and ambitious young man, I want you to watch it. If you are on my team and you're working towards it and you want to work harder, I would also... I would also uh, advise you to watch my videos because you will find you will find you will find that I'm like-minded. You will find that we're like-minded. That you can find someone that actually thinks the same way as you. That's good. The people that are in Invictus isn't the normal. It isn't the majority. It is the, the tiny minor, minority of people that wants to do the most impact in the world. And that's what we're going to do. So, brother, if you like the video, you should like it so more people can see it. If you dislike it, then you should dislike it so that people can see it. You should comment down below. Are you a guy who wants it but won't work for it? Or are you a guy who wants it, works for it, but you know you have to work more? And you know that the other people are just fucking losers, bro. You should subscribe to be a part of Invictus and to follow the journey and to be a brother of Invictus and to and to see where this takes me and to see where this takes us. You should share this with someone who might need this message. You should take care of yourself and you should stay awake, not walking.